Yes, look at the difference. I can see it in your phone. Okay, hey y'all. I was just going to do a quick um video. I know that most of the videos are packing. Mine is actually going to be like an unpacking because my my surgery was originally scheduled for May the 5th and I was going to fly out May 1st and stay for the entire month of May. However, I'm rescheduled for September, so I'll be staying for the whole month of September. So I'm just going to go through my suitcase real quick and show y'all everything that's in here. Um, I even laid some stuff out of it already, but I promise it all fit in here. Um, I just unzipped it not long ago and started taking things out. So this is my big check bag. This is what I'll be checking, okay? Um, yeah, this is my check bag. So first and foremost, I have two Meta Honey. Um, this is what I'll be using for my scar. Z <laughs> and I have two of the 3.5 ounce, which is the biggest tubes of the paste that you can get. Um, and if you have Meta Honey or you have Meta Honey, you already know they come with the tube top for easier application. I don't know if I'll be using that or not, but it came with it, so it's in there. And then I have a small um, 1.5 ounce of the gel. I just imagine that the difference between the paste and the gel would be... You know, the gel is probably um, more thinner, uh, easier to spread, um, less messy, perhaps. I'll probably just use this for travel, like, you know, when I'm getting myself prepared to fly back home or something like that. I won't have to, you know, worry about the oozing paste or anything like that. I, I'm assuming. I don't know because I've never used either of those products for anything else before. Okay, but this, this I plan on using Meta Honey products for my wounds. Um, I have three packs of these, which is the I call them bath in a bag, um, because they, it comes with each package comes with eight heavyweight disposable washcloths. It's supposed to be, you know, you take this one package, heat it in the microwave, and it's for a complete full body head to toe bath. However, I don't believe, me personally, I won't feel clean unless I can take a full shower or a full bath. So I don't plan on using these in that way, which explains why I only have three, um, totaling 24 when I plan on staying for a whole month. Um, I'll probably most likely be heating two, three, maybe four if necessary at a time. Maybe in a sandwich bag, stick them in the microwave, wash um, parts that I feel like I need to wash. Um, yeah, because even if I were to use all of these, it, it just seems like a waste to me because I know I'm still going to feel dirty, <laughs> period, without taking a bath because I'm a bath person. And I also have 100, um, can do wipes. Yes, this is 100. Um, they are very condensed in this small package. They aren't very big. These are actually kids flushable wipes. Um, but I like these better than baby wipes. I don't like the fibers and the stickiness that baby wipes leave on your skin. These do not, and they smell really good. They clean really well. Um, and you could even add like, you know, like a drop of alcohol or something. And if you need a little bit more, um, clean cleaning, I guess you could do that. I don't find that necessary. I think these do a good job. I prefer these over feminine hygiene wipes as well so as far as wipes go this is all that i have um i imagine these will get me through at least two weeks um after that i should be able to take a partial if not full um shower as i've been told by my surgeon's assistant and um, my nurse so underneath all of this in this corner, I have disposable underwear, much like um, the pins. Um, and I have a bunch of those, like I said, down in that corner, um, at which I'll be wearing like underwear over my faja. Um, I heard that it's very likely that your period starts when you're out of surgery. So this will even serve that purpose. Um, so all you do is wear them, take them off, throw them away. And that's, you know, more efficient than trying to, you know, switch out pads and tampons and plus that and everything else. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm a minimalist. Um, in this corner and this corner over here, both um, these peachy looking things are the same thing. They're chucks pads for the bed. 
And then I have these, which are poise pads um, that take up most of the space in the bottom of my suitcase. Um, all these are poise pads for my wounds. Um, now, let's go into this. So this is a perineal shower bottle. You fill the bottle with hot water, screw the shower head, see it comes with a shower head. Screw the shower head back on while you're in a seated position, preferably on the toilet. You just give your bottom a nice hot shower. Of course, you can add anything you like besides water. Um, so that should keep the butt clean. I have a PE um, by recommendation. I really don't think I'll be using this. Um, but when, because it's so small, but when you're squeezed together with a faha, you would think it's pretty good size, it's sufficient. Um, I have a deodorant, back scratcher. I just have two razors and two disposable shower caps. This is Bactine, which is a no sting, like a sting free um, wound cleansing spray. I actually have experience with this because I did have a labiaplasty months ago and it works really well, cleans very well. Um, I just, I just like it and I, I'm going for it again. I have my HIPAA cleanse, only the four ounce bottle because I only plan on using this the night before surgery and the morning of. I don't plan to continue use because it's so drying. Um, I don't want to continue to use that on my full body. But I do have two bars of Dial Antibacterial in the spring water scent, um, which does not dry your skin out. Um, for moisturizing, I bought this, which is a Dr. Watkins coconut, um, coconut honey, uh, or like an oil spray. So it's a, it's a, it's a oil, um, but I like it and I'm, I'm going to have to buy another one. Cause once I found that I wasn't going, I took this out of my suitcase and started using it. So, um, this won't be going in. This will be staying out, but I'll be replacing that one with a new one. I have Too Faced. Um, Arnica, I have two things of Arnica. Um, one of this, a friend of mine had left over, so she passed them down, but it's not, it's probably like half. It only came with 30. Um, it's probably like 15 left in there, so I appreciate that, but I also bought my own. I um, bought more. This is just a hydro gel for my face, because I don't put lotions or oils on my face. And... This is a toothbrush and a tongue cleaner. Um, so besides the Arnica, um, I have some bromelain. So those are the two that I've packed away because these are for post-op. Um, you know, the bromelain is good for inflammation, you know, swelling, and then the Arnica for bruising and things like that. But the rest of my vitamins are not packed away because I'm actually taking them every day, which is, you know, the B12, um, the, the, the B complex, the vitamin C. Um, I also take vitamin D, um, iron, and folic acid. So, of course, those are not packed away because I use them. And then I plan on going in cornrows and a wig. So this is just a replacement uh, wig. So I can imagine 30 days with one wig, child. I'll be done. Yeah, so that's just an extra replacement wig. And then because I am a bariatric patient, I will be taking Premier Protein Shakes. I have my two favorite flavors, Cafe Latte and the Blueberry and Cream with Oats. Um, both of these flavors are fairly new, but they have become my favorite. So, this is what I'll be packing. And, yes, they did fit all of this stuff. These protein shakes and this wig does fit inside of that suitcase, I promise. Um, so, this is my... Oh, and let me show you this. I have a travel safety um, pouch, which this is a waist pouch. It goes on your waist. 
um it goes under your clothes only thing i plan on putting in here is my money the only thing i have in here right now is my passport just for safekeeping and i have my receipts from the deposits that i've paid for services um already already paid so that's just receipts and my money will be in there and then i have a blankie which also fits believe it or not also fits and an airplane pillow which would not need to go inside and in my carry-on is where i have my clothes this up here is um protein bars which for me as a bariatric patient is my snacks um but this is just all my clothes um besides my clothes i have I purchased a three pack of these compression socks. You see these a lot, um, but that's because they come in a three pack on Amazon. I think it was less than twenty dollars, if I remember correctly. But they are, uh, I forget the numbers, but they are the post surgery recommended um, compression amount or whatever, however you count that. And besides these three, I do have one pair. If I could find them. One pair of thigh high surgical white um, compression socks for immediately, immediately following surgery. Those are thigh high. Okay. And besides that, the rest of this are clothes. Now there's tank tops, um, dresses, pants. Um, everything a lot of I have about six of my tank tops that had the bras like the little pads made in them just for a little bit more security you know I'm kind of conservative I'm 36 so I ain't trying to be hanging and swinging all over the place but yes yeah, everything I mean I have a pretty big variety mostly dresses but there are a few pairs of pants um some shirts um of course tank tops this is just a head scarf, um, which I also have a bonnet. Oh, and I have a few pair of real panties, like, you know, real panties. Not all the throwaway kind, but I have about five or six pairs of just panties. These are actually new, never been worn, but, um, baby, the rest of these things been worn because I did not buy new shit just to bleed on. This is a bandeau bra or whatever strapless bra it's another pair of pants yeah so that's it and then i do have i have a pair of receipts i got a pair of bedroom slippers and a pair of sandals and i travel in sneakers probably um a set suit jacket pants and sneakers but that'll be it so um yeah that's it and that's all my uh my thigh high um compression socks i could wear with these because the toes are out and then my other three pair i could wear with my sneakers or with these um yeah because i don't want to take anything that's tempting for someone to want to take from me so as far as clothes shoes things like that it's basic very basic uh nothing nothing is new like I said, I didn't go out and purchase um, sundresses or anything. I went through and packed um, things that I already had. Like, just, just dresses that I... Actually, for me, to be quite honest, I never wear outside. Like, I'll never wear outside sundresses from the year before. So, and that's because I buy cheap sundresses. I'm just going to be real about it. I buy dresses that are $20 or less. So, once I get a good summer out of them, after that, they become house dresses. So, what I have here is a bunch of house dresses that I'm not going to wear outside again. So, um, why not take them and bleed all out on them? Oh, I need that. Well, that's it. Um, if y'all see me missing anything that's really important or vital, please let me know. You, you'll you notice that I have no basic supplies. There's no alcohol, peroxide, gloves, gauze, tape, um, and things like that because they're provided by my um, Airbnb, which I got a really good deal with the Airbnb um, that was offered by a nurse. So it's all inclusive. It's just like a recovery home. 
at an Airbnb price. And with me staying for 30 days, I really, really appreciate that. Um, my boards, boppy, pillow, um, all that kind of stuff, I'll be purchasing once I get there because it's a lot cheaper over there. Um, my stage two, I'm going to purchase the one from Mercedes. I've heard horror stories about it, but baby, I need to be pressed together, shaking forth and running over. Okay. So I'm going to go with his as long as I can stand it. Um, if not, then, you know, that's what, that's where your extra money come in at. Um, there is a stage three that I plan on ordering once I get back home. If anybody's interested in that. And it's the blue one, of course. The the, the popular blue one. Um, I really can't think of anything else. The only thing I'm going to add is Noxzema for my face. I may put a bar of Caress in case I get tired of the dial. I like bar soaps. Um, I, and also, I don't want to travel with anything that can spill. Um... But that's it. Um, makeup, lip gloss, and all that kind of stuff. I will have it in my huge, oversized, too big Chanel bag, also known as a purse. Um, yes, I don't think I'm going without chapstick. But if y'all think of anything else or think I need more of something, less of something, I'm sure somebody's going to say more wipes. Um, which I may add as well. I'm not really decided yet. Since now I have to wait all the way to September, I have time. Um, but I don't have a safe or anything. Um, I do have locks on my luggage. I mean the kind with keys, not those little combination locks that's easy to break into. Um, but of course they are TSA approved, but you know, they're not. The locks for all of the TSA approved locks are not the same so don't think just because a person ha and I'm, I'm saying this because i heard it on another um video if i have tsa approved locks on my luggage and you have tsa approved locks on your luggage and both of our both of us have the types of locks that use keys does not mean that my keys will work for your locks so it doesn't work like that and i um i've heard from a family member that works for Delta, that the um, the universal keys sometimes have to be filed or tweaked or whatever every so often to fit the TSA approved locks that are sold in stores and whatnot. But I did purchase mine from AAA, so I'm confident in my locks. I'll have things locked um, while I'm at the hospital. I know, it, uh, while I'm at the clinic, sorry, I know exactly how much money I need um and that's it that's it and that's all y'all hit me up let me know give me some conversational pieces advice whatever you got to offer um i'll take it i hope this video helps somebody um in some type of way let you know what what you might be missing or what you should leave home or um at the very least that I hope that it at least helps somebody cover the basics, maybe. Um, I don't know. Whatever you can take from it, take it. And I appreciate y'all. I'm excited about my surgery. I can't wait. I thought it was going to be May, but now I got to wait to September. But it's all good. I'm still ready.